There have been rumors about Chu being in a legal battle with her company Blockberry Creative that trace all the way back to December 2021. Now, when it's obvious that Blockberry has been angry with Chu this whole year and eventually ended up kicking her out of the group on November 25th, people started retracing the steps of everything that happened since the rumor started and how much she was mistreated all along. Source to secure her own transport. Getting the artists to their schedule and getting them back is the company's responsibility. And it was their responsibility to secure the transportation for every one of Chu's other gigs as well. Chu had lots of filming for variety shows and ads. However, her fan site revealed that the company hasn't been giving Chu a manager for her solo schedules ever since May, and she had to secure her own transportation. Even more ridiculous is the fact that Chu has to secure transport to Luna schedules as well. She arrived at the shooting of Weekly Idol first and left in a cacao taxi, according to her fan site. This would have been okay, but she has also been carrying her own stuff instead of having a manager to help her carry things to filmings. She has been taking taxis everywhere and even mentioned during one schedule that it was her dad who drove her there. It would have been okay if this happened once or twice, but this isn't some personal matter of Chu's schedule anymore. This was complete abandonment when it came to managing Chu from Blackberry creative side. The moment Chu demanded what is rightfully hers through a lawsuit, they turned completely against her. Denied access to the Blackberry creative building. Luna is always trying to communicate with their fans as much as possible. They are always saying how they are grateful for every note, comment, or letter that has been delivered to the Blockberry Creative Building. The fans, Orbits, always assumed that as soon as the letter would get delivered to Blockberry Creative, the girls would get a hold of them. So they were pretty shocked when one fan on the app Fab, where the girls communicate with their fans, asked Chu if she could receive a letter they wanted to send her through the agency. She then responded, Fans' letters often can't go to Blockberry Creative. I can receive letters if the company opens the door when I stop by once a month or every two months. This didn't only mean that she can't get every fan letter, but that she doesn't have to direct access to the Blockberry Creative Building. And for an artist that is supposedly signed under the company and is part of the company's most prominent group, this is pretty weird. Many would expect her to be in the company daily since she wasn't on the world tour with the rest of the group. There is a huge chance that Blockberry Creative fully denied access to her to the building and was only giving certain times she could show up for unnecessary reasons. Repeatedly not getting included in schedules. The red flags with Chu started appearing all the way back in February when she couldn't attend the Lunaverse From concerts due to unspecified health reasons. Everyone was wondering if Chu was okay, but things got even shadier when Blockberry Creative announced that Chu wouldn't be participating in the Luna's first world tour due to an already fixed schedule. It was never announced what schedule was so important that Chu would miss out on the whole world tour. It's important to add that they announced this just 30 minutes before the tickets went on sale, and to this day, no one knows if this was done on purpose or if there was a last minute decision from the higher ups from Blockberry. Chu was one of the more popular members, so no one would put it past Blockberry to do it sneakily, so many people would buy tickets while maybe missing the announcement. Fans were disappointed, and so was Chu. During their fan event for Flip That Comeback, Chu looks very upset when the MC starts talking about the upcoming tour. From her pout and sad eyes, it seems like she wishes she was able to go. So when Blockberry Creative announced their soul concerts, people were excited that Chu could surely make a two-day window in her schedule to appear at the October concerts. However, it was again announced that Chu wouldn't be attending, while Chu on the app Fab revealed that she didn't even know about it. They didn't give me any notices about attending the schedule in the afternoon, so I'm sad. I miss you too. A lot. A lot. She also further explained how Luna's schedules work, since all the other girls were raving about the concert on the Fab app. Just because a schedule is uploaded doesn't mean I can participate in all of them. The company needs to confirm and then send confirmation, notification, for me to attend. Even if the schedule is uploaded, I don't know if I'm participating in it or not. Not getting paid. For a while, it was an ongoing joke about everyone living in Chu's world. She was the face of so many brands, foods, drinks, and even websites. Chu was basically everywhere, and people thought that she was paid equally for the amount of work that she does. But the hard truth came out this year when Chu revealed that she didn't have any income last year on the Owen Young's Golden Counseling Center show. The financial situation, combined with the stress of her incredibly busy schedule, developed a habit of overeating spicy food and then getting sick later, which was a sign of some deeper health issues that could develop if Chu continued these habits. Chu's financial struggles were also the reason she cut ties with her family. I felt like there was a huge issue in my life, so I spoke to my family about it. But the answer I got from them was, even if you're facing losses right now, it's better to just endure it. Her bandmate Yeojin also recently revealed that they haven't been paid ever since their debut. So Chu isn't getting money from her Luna gigs, nor from her personal schedules that she does on the side. That's considered inhumane by many, considering how much Chu is in different ads and variety shows, and even has her own YouTube channel. People are now digging around 
around where all the money that the members made over the years went, since the girls are not the only ones who aren't getting paid. In the latter half of 2021, there was news of BlackBerry Creative being in financial trouble and not paying their choreographer and other external companies that were hired to work with Luna. It's important to mention that in the latter half of 2021 is also when Chu started the legal battle with the company. An article that dug a deeper hole for BlackBerry came out a day after the announcement concerning Chu, saying that the company's CEO and COO are suspected of evading over $37 million in taxes. The rumor hasn't been confirmed, but combined with the previous rumors of staff not getting paid, BlackBerry Creative might be in bigger trouble than any of us can imagine. Left out of birthday celebrations. Nearly every K-pop fan knows the famous birthday live shows, where the idols get a cake delivered by their company and sit in front of some decorations prepared by the staff. But even this was something that BlackBerry Creative didn't care for when it came to Chu. On her birthday, the 20th of October, Chu had a birthday meetup in a small venue. She enjoyed a wonderful time with her fans. However, the size of the venue made many of her fans not able to get in. To that, Chu promised that next time she will get an even bigger venue for her potatoes, which is the name of her fandom. She also added, this time I had to prepare this with my money, that is why. Her fans were shocked to find out that the whole event was sponsored by Chu and not the company. They were angry since not only is Chu not getting paid by BlockBerry, but she was also the one financing this. It's not like BlockBerry Creative is incapable of organizing such an event. They were able to throw a perfect surprise party for another band member, Heejin, who had a birthday just a day before Chu. Heejin got to celebrate on stage during a concert with her bandmates while Chu was left to her own devices. In light of recent events, a video from her birthday started circulating the internet again where she says, From now on, because of, well, some things that I can't control, sometime near the end of the year due to something, when some news articles drop and it might be surprising, you might be taken aback. As I keep working hard, I'm so, so thankful and I'll keep working hard on my activities. I'm so grateful and I hope you keep loving me. Chu started crying in the middle of her speech as she probably knew what was coming. It's hard to prepare your fans for something so drastic, but despite Blockberry trying to paint Chu as the villain, the fans are loving her and standing by her more than ever. Mistreatment in action. In the statement by Blockberry Creative about Chu getting expelled from the company, they portray Chu as someone who has been insulting to the staff and even power tripped them. Just on the first day, tons of people who worked with Chu came to share their stories of how lovely, selfless, and respectful she was to the staff everywhere and that the accusations from the company are lies. The Luna members are trying to show support as much as they can without getting in trouble. There are reports that it was actually the staff who was rude to Chu. During the filming of the 2020 ESAC, there is a video of Chu getting dragged away from her band members by a staff member who was dragging her by her hair. It was an ESAC staff member, however, Chu just politely went where they needed her to go. The person who meekly listened after being mistreated rudely is supposed to be the one who now has a scandal, which is the reason why Blackberry is kicking her out. Sure. But it is safe to say that Blackberry Creative never expected this outcome after kicking her out of the group. The situation is going as far as hitting the national news, and no one knows how the situation will end up since many people are waiting for Chu to say something, or at least give her fans some signal. Do you believe Chu was mistreated by her company? Thanks for watching. Bye!